Hello there, welcome to another Star Pill Ship Review video. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the Ecliptic Claymore. As the name suggests, this is a, a vessel that is in use with the Ecliptic Mercenary Faction. Uh, it's primarily a Nova Galactic ship, and as you can tell just by the look of it, it is a very, very cool looking ship. The general shape of it kind of makes me think of the Star Trek ships, even though I know it's it's not directly a Star Trek style ship, but just having that big kind of frontal section and then the engines on the back in like these kind of pontoons. Yeah, very, very cool ship. I believe this is the highest class ship the Ecliptics fight. This is their kind of like their capital ship. So if you manage to get your hands on one of these vessels, it's a phenomenal vessel. So looking at the stats, it's got a fuel of 420, which is pretty decent. Allow you to make long jumps instead of hops. It's got almost 1k hull, 965 hull, which is really, really good. If those shields drop, you're, you're going to be able to survive long enough to either disengage or take out whatever's shooting you. It's got cargo capacity of almost 5k, which is colossal cargo capacity. Like, I don't know why the Ecliptics feel the need to have that much cargo. Maybe because there's like a mothership to them. They might need to carry excess materials and stuff. But for whatever reason, it's, yeah. And then if we look at it, it's a C-Class reactor with 25 power. Really, really good. Crew of six, which is pretty impressive. You kind of would expect more for a ship this big. But then it is what it is. 23 light year jump range, which is kind of low. Like, I think the, the base, base jump range of ships is like 15, 16, and then the max is 30. So this sits in the middle. It's quite average. You could obviously upgrade it, but by default, 23. It's got 966 shields, almost 1,000 shields, which is phenomenal. Like, this thing, although it's got high cargo, this thing is built for combat. Weapon-wise, it's got particle weapons, missiles, and ballistics. As you can see there... It's got a missile on the left there. It's got ballistics on the right. And then it's got those three particle turrets on the top. So yeah, let's let's go take a look at it. Very cool design. Like I said, it's Nova Galactic. I believe it is based on like an actual ship by Nova Galactic. But I have yet to come across uh, one. So for the moment, I think this is unique. I don't know what those turrets are looking at, but that's kind of slightly worrying. Yeah, really cool design. Really love the bridge. This bridge is not on very many ships, and it is a phenomenal bridge. Get a better kind of a top-down, as you can see there. Very cool bridge. Almost like it looks like a turtle, the bridge, which is kind of funny. So we're going to hop on board. I'm expecting a lot interior-wise, because this is a C-class ship. So we've got a, that is a Nova Galactic entryway, which is really nice. I was going to grab the free med pack. And we've got a ladder leading up into it. So if you, uh, if you don't have functioning legs, this might be problematic getting into it, but you could use your grab suit or your jump jet. So immediately we're entering into a one by one storage way. And then behind door number one, we have a... I believe this is an all-in-one berth. Three by one, but no, two by one all-in-one berth, which is pretty nice. Got room for your crew to chill here. Got some beds. I really love the the Nova Galactic. Um, the Nova Galactic, just like the habitats, they're just very lived in. We got a ladder here that goes up. We go up here, and what the hell? Gonna have to climb that. I believe directly above us, that is the docking hatch. And then this is just a one by one storage room. Got some messy stuff there, but we won't worry about it for now. We'll get someone to clean the lift. And then in here, we have another one by one storage room that leads up to another one by one storage room. And then past this, we have a two by one uh, control room. Really, really nice. Just This is where your main crew complement will come from. And then here we have the phenomenal bridge. Look at this bridge. Well, we won't look too much. I want to just check underneath first. Underneath here we have... Okay. 
Hello. Hello, Andrea. I don't know why you're hiding behind that door. It's kind of creepy, but we have this is a, a brig, I believe. Um, I want to say it's a two by two brig, so you've got room for your store your people who aren't being very friendly. And then back behind here, we have uh, another living quarters. This I believe this is a captain's quarters, considering there's only one bed, which is really really nice. And then, just gonna double check, uh, there's nothing else. I'm kind of actually surprised you got a toilet there. I know people are constantly complaining in the comments, no toilets, there you go. You don't need to poop in a bucket. I'm surprised that you can only find this through the bridge. Which I suppose, it's, some people might like that. But yeah, back into the, the, the bridge, the main kind of star of the show. Really, really cool bridge. You've got this huge view, like, look at this, you can see so far. You've got the pilot seat there, off to your left, you've got a co-pilot, then off to the right. You've got the, um, the navigator, you've got a lot of uh, computer screens above them, so they can see absolutely everything. You've got these back panels here, and I believe, yeah, and then to the left here we have the cargo hold, where you can store all of your goodies, and then we have a safe here. Which came with stuff that I forgot to take out. <laughs> Alright, let's let's take it off. Being a C-Class, I'm expecting this thing isn't going to be very maneuverable. But we shall see. I really love the... Like, look at that. It's a very cool ship's design. Also, the turreted weapons are going to be interesting. Let's lift it up. Oh. We have engine powers already. We're going to take a cut. <laughs> I keep paying that guy down there in his green jacket to fix my ship, and he's like, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, we'll take your money and fix it, but he never fixes it. Alright, we're back. I put Andrea to work. We got the engine up in no time. So looking at the pips, just like I was saying in some of my other videos, I have a perk here called, uh, uh, this perk. I don't want to try and pronounce that, because, yeah. But it gives me an extra five units of power, so for that, I'm going to have five power there. So, this default reactor, uh, you have enough for engines and shields, and then, like, some for each of the weapons. So, obviously, you can't fire the particle weapons because they're turreted. You got some missiles, and then ballistics. Let's do a quick speed test. So, it's got a base speed of 130, which is very slow. Can't even hit 130, I think. It's got a boost speed of... Boost speed of 400. So almost two and a half times boost speed, which is kind of slow again. Let's do a quick uh, pitch. Pitch is all right. It's right. I'd say it's about average for a ship this size. Let's do a quick yaw. And then the roll. So yeah, like I said, this is this is clearly like meant to be like a mothership. It's not gonna be the super fast or like super agile, but it definitely will be able to hold its own weight in a fight. So I'm gonna really quickly go down to the planet again and just break down the parts. All right, so here we are. So before I tear the ship down, I just wanna say, when it comes to trying to find this ship, it's a little tricky because it only spawns um, in when you're being attacked by the ecliptic mercs so if you're trying to farm for this ship i would recommend going to a system pretty far out look for one that's above level 50 because they're less likely to have um like friendly npcs and then preferably also a system with a lot of planets and then just jump around from planet to planet in like the cruise mode so you know like it's you're not like using the grab drive you're just like a jumping and then every time you jump to a planet there's a chance of a random encounter happening you could come across a traitor, uh, it could be someone looking for help, you could be getting attacked. Eventually, if you get lucky, you will get attacked by the Ecliptics. Hopefully, they'll have one of these ships. If they do, just take out the escorts and then disable the engine and board it. But anyway, let's do the teardown. So on the top here, we have three of these Disruptor Auto Alpha Turrets, C-Class. Pretty decent. And then we've got, on the top, we got a Nova NG2 Docker there and then on the second floor we have this big cabot c4 bridge by nova galactic we have a nova galactic control station 
And then we have uh, Nova Galactic Companionway. And then we have another uh, Galactic Companionway that goes underneath. I'm going to put that to the side. And we have uh, Nova Galactic Living Quarters. We have a uh, Nova Galactic 3x2 Bridge. We have a Nova Galactic Captain's Quarters. Uh, just double check. And then we have another companionway here. Uh, we have a, a Nova Galactic, another companionway. And then we have a Nova Galactic NG6 Landing Bay. So yeah, so just to double check again, we have one Nova Galactic companion way, another companion way, another companion way, uh, two by one living quarters, NG2 docker top, NG6 landing bay, captain's quarters, two by one control station, another companion way, Nova Galactic two by two bridge, and then a Nova Galactic cabin C4 bridge. So weapon-wise, it's got an Atlas 270C missile launcher C-class. It's got a Marauder 114 ANC railgun from Horizon Defense. And then it's got three of these Disruptor Auto Alpha turrets from Horizon Defense. It's got a Theta Pinch B9 reactor. You could probably upgrade the power a little bit. I, I would recommend doing it just so you can get more power to those weapons. And then engine-wise, it's got two of these White Dwarf uh, 1000 engines from uh, Relodyne. And then it's got these two bigger Supernova engines from Relodyne as well. And then we've got a Deep Core Apollo GV100 grab drive. Got some extra storage. And then there's the big beefy boy, the Odin 303 shield generator. But yeah, so that's, that's the ship review, guys. Hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching.